Hello all you fellow YouTubers, it is me, the Amana Man, coming to you once again on this beautiful Monday. Now, uh, excuse me one second. Oh, maybe you can see it in the background here. Um, it is currently 5.05 in the afternoon, and this will be my longest video on YouTube so far. I'm planning on doing one of these every, um every back to school, whenever back to school time comes, you know, it's stressful and all that, I decided I'll make a video whenever back to school comes each year. And uh, right now, so it's, so at 5.35, I'll be ending this video, or somewhere around that margin, to create an approximately 30 minute long video. Now, I won't just be sitting here talking about random things, because finally my little review promise paid off. I have a ton of different videos here, different movies I wanted to kind of discuss. This is my horror movie collection, if you're very familiar about horror movies like Saw, the uncut edition, which is really nice. You might really want to check this out if you're a big fan of Saw. Well, I don't have, well, nah, I'll just go through them all. This is Saw 3. Here's the back, here's the front. The front doesn't have very much, but it's the director's cut, so it has how much longer? Like eight minutes longer or something? Eight minutes of extra footage? Sorry, I was winning, winning off there. About like eight minutes of extra footage here, so I really want to check that. One second, please. Yep, perfect. Good. Just want to make sure my camera angle's right. Just didn't look right to me. So, uh, okay, so we got the Saws. Then I got the Saw Trilogy on Blu-ray. Gotta love this stuff. This has Saws 1, 2, and 3, all combined in one big Blu-ray. 2 and 3 are the unrated editions. I was originally planning to do a Saw... Uh, I guess I would call it a Saw Spectacular. I was going to do a Saw Saw movie review in uh, my Season 1, but that didn't turn out to do very well. It just didn't turn out very well. I just didn't end up doing it. Hold on. Is my camera angle right? Yeah, it is. It just didn't turn out the way I expected it. So I didn't do the whole thing. So I got Saw Trilogy. And then I have Saw 5. I got this for 6 bucks at Walmart. And it's a Blu-ray and did plus digital copy. So can't beat that. I got this. This was more on the lines of $25. This is the Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital copy. If it is... Any longtime users of mine will know that I have a PS3. It's actually sitting right next to the camera. So, uh, I saw the final chapter. It's in unrated. It's really nice. The only problem is, is you still have to. Sh I still had to. Sh I mean, you still have to show ID whenever you go and get this one. At least my mom had to show ID because it turns out the stinking DVD was rated. So, since the DVD was rated. I had to, uh, well, I had to get my mom to go up and use her ID for it. <laughs> oh, and I got Saws 1 through 6. This is the DVD collection. I know it says Blu-ray on it. I, w I described that in a previous video I was going to make, but it, I deleted it. It may show up as a cut video, though. Saw 1 through 6 collection. It's really nice. The, once again, it's not Blu-ray. It is DVD. I ordered this from China somewhere. It's really nice. It comes with the original formats, too. So this is a really nice collector's set. And here's Paranormal Activity 2. And don't worry, I do have Paranormal Activity, the original, to go with it. So that we have two here. Flip flop to make them look more chronological here. Really great movies. If you love... Uh, uh, ghost thrillers and paranormal thrillers, you'll love these movies. Um, Human Centipede. Now, this one is hard to describe. This one was downright nasty. Here's the back. Now, no, I'm not describing them now. I will in just a little bit. <laughs> I, I'm just kind of giving you a little briefing over, but I'll go into more depth in a minute. See, this one was just nasty. I'm not going to go any further than that until I actually get to describing this video. So, uh, yeah. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning. This is the, I think it's the unrated cut, isn't it? Yeah, it was the unrated edition. Guess where I got this. Now, 
if you're a big time DVD collector, you'll know that this really isn't that this wasn't a very good investment for me, but it did turn out to pay off. I got this at an antique store, and I got the disc. It was only six dollars, and no scratches. Show you the DVD here. Show you the disc. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. See, no scratches on it. It's a great DVD. So thank you, makers of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Heck, thanks to everybody who made these videos because they were these are great movies. I love these movies. They're great. Here's Chucky, the killer DVD collection. I got this for like twenty dollars. Four DVDs for twenty dollars. Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky come with extra bonus features. Oh wait, no. Two and three do too. They come with just just really the theatrical uh, trailer for them. But they're really great movies if you love killer clowns. I mean, sorry, no, not killer clowns. That's amusement and all that. Yes, amusement is an actual movie. This uh, killer dolls. Or if you've ever heard of Chucky, he's really funny. He's not just a bloodthirsty murderer. That's mostly what he is, though. But he does add a whole bunch of humor into his murders, so you'd really like, you'd really want to watch this if you enjoy slasher films. Now these, now this one, now this set up front here was made by um, MGM, and this one right here, the one, this one right here is uh, 20th Century Fox. These movies, I got, uh, well, just by a set. I got them at Walmart. This one comes, well, since since Chucky the Killer DVD collection did not come with Child's Play 1, they are, it's only Child's Plays 2 through Seed of, because, um, well, second, well, Child's Play 2 through Bride of were made by Universal, and Seed of was made by Rogue Pictures. So I don't know if they had a, if they had an agreement or if they had all played a special role in it or something, but, uh, these four were bundled. But the fifth one, the original Child's Play, was cut out because it was uh, it was not made by the same company. The first one was made by MGM. And then it comes to the Amityville Horror, the 2005 cut, The Last House on the Left. Now I'm just going to tell you right now. It is by, written and directed by Wes Craven. If you have no idea who he is, he directed um, Nightmare on Elm Street. So if you're a big fan of that stuff, then you should know what this is. This was, I don't know if it was his first movie or I don't, I don't know. It was made in 72. This was, this is a really old movie, but it's so gory. It's, it's a lot like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and all those old slasher movies. They're just nasty and gory. But if you're a big horror fan lover, you will love that movie. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, great movie. You'll want to check it out if you, if you like the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay. And uh, the 20th Century Fox bundle here came with 28 Days Later, 28 Weeks Later, and Mirrors. Mirrors is a paranormal movie, more like. If you love paranormal movies, once again, you might want to check that out. If you And 28 Days Later and 28 Weeks Later, if you like those uh, germ warfare and germ, the bio-infected horror movies, you should really like this. You should really, really like those, too. All right, so we'll start out with the Saw series, since that's what I started out with in the description. Alright. Now these won't contain way too many spoilers, so it's not like I'm gonna give away the endings or anything, that's for sure. Saw the uncut edition. This is basically a killer, or I'm gonna say killer. I'm not gonna go into what what all that's about yet. But uh it's about there's a picture on the back. It's about um a man, he calls himself Jigsaw, he goes out and he kidnaps uh, the morally wayward people and then he uh, forces them to participate in what he calls his games or his tests and basically what those are is to see is to basically show if they are worthy of the lives if, of their lives if they're willing to fight for their lives back basically they're putting these mind-bending games that will kill them if they do not escape or games they're called they're really traps so in other words they will die if they do not escape, whether a bomb's going to blow up or something's going to rip a body part off or what have you. It's, you know, there's, so you have to escape or you're going to die, basically. Now, uh, next one, 
Saw 3 director's cut. This one, a lot of people who were like the big uh, blood and guts, you know, all that stuff. You know, they're all about the blood and guts. Yeah, go merciless killing and all that stuff. I don't think they like this movie very much. It's because it's not about the killing. It's about emotional choices that this one man makes in order to avenge his lost son. His dead son, actually. And all these people that he meets during his test were responsible in one way or another, including his final test. So, is he going to let them live or is he going to let them die? Basically. Because, after all, these are emotional choices. I mean, this man has to either kill or let go, or free, I guess I should say, these people who had large amounts of um, responsibility in his son's demise. Hold on one second. Oh, nice. So, if you love, like, more, the, if you don't like just the merciless, brutal killing, you like the more moral choices, you like the, uh, how many emotional choices? Then you should, you would just love Saw Three. It once again does have to do. Yes, if these people are not saved by this man, they will die, in one way or another. So uh, once again, that's pretty mind bending there. Put their little stack over there. All right. Now, yes, if you have not yet noticed, I'm a I'm a huge fan of Saw. I have a ton of different copies of different Saw movies. Here's Saw One right here. It's, uh, it doesn't say anything, but it is actually the uncut edition because there were a couple extra moments that were included in the cut ed in the uncut edition that were actually in this one as well. So this one's actually the uncut if you buy the bundle. I don't know if all of them are. Mine may have may have been, may have, ugh, sorry mine may have been a mistake. I don't know though. Saw two, unrated edition. You will love Saw two if you enjoy once again bloodthirst. Saw one was more creepy. I mean, to me it was more, you know, that psychological thriller, almost. Saw 2 is more of a blood and guts, I'll rip your head off kind of movie. Saw 3 is once again emotional. This one's also the unrated cut. So, uh, hold on, which one should I get next? Uh, once again, I'm going to go over saw, the saws first, I'll just bring these up here. Next one, here is Saw 5. This is, um, sorry. This is, I, once again, I just found this at Walmart for, oh god, like six dollars. I got it for like six dollars at Walmart. It was an extremely cheap price for, um, a Saw movie at least. I mean, Saw movies are pretty nice, especially one like Saw the Final Chapter that cost me twenty-five dollars. Then again, this one was made three years ago, so... It's older. It was made back in 08, nearly three years ago, October 08. So you should really like this movie if you uh, enjoy horror movies. This one continues on the t the date of time. Now it is extremely kind of oops, you know, kind of kind of messes with some people's minds whenever you come to think of it. But Saw Five literally takes up right after Saw Three ended. And Saws 3 and 4 run directly consecutively in time. The exact same time period. It really does bend some people's minds. There were a few flashbacks, though, but I'm not going to go way too far into it. But yeah, six bucks. Couldn't, can't beat that. With the, it's, the non, it's the unrated cut, too, so that's good. It also comes with the digital copy, not just the Blu-ray. Next, I'll go into Saw 1 through 6. Now, once again, Saw 1 was more of that, you know, that psychological horror thriller, you know, that spooky almost kind of sense of film, you know. But, uh, and Saw 2 was the big blood and guts. Saw 3 was more emotional. Saw 4 was, was, no, Saw 4 was probably the most emotional out of all of them. To me it was because of Jigsaw's motivation, why he became Jigsaw. That was the, that was, the second reason he became Jigsaw was listed in Saw 4. The first reason he became Jigsaw was listed in Saw 2. Saw 5, once again, it's a big, uh, it's a big blood and guts. It's a, it's another big blood and guts movie. It's really nice, though, so I'd suggest it. Saw 6, 
it is once again geared toward the emotional side. It's not. It's nowhere near as emotional as Saw's two or four, but it is geared towards emotional. Geared toward the emotional side of uh, a movie. Now, Saw so in Saw the final chapter here. This movie was um, built not really on the emotional side. This one was once again, you know, satisfying a. You know, an audience's bloodthirst, which is, which, uh, don't get me wrong, there's nothing at all wrong with it. I love that sense. But this is, uh, geared upon, uh. Now, a lot of people have been anticipating the return of a certain character in Saw 1, Dr. Lawrence Gordon. I will, I will tell you, he does return in this movie if you have never seen it. If you've never seen it, if you've loved Saw's 1 through 6, and you've never seen Saw the Final Chapter, you will want to watch this movie. It is a great movie. So, and no, Dr. Gordon really doesn't, he doesn't make a very large impact on the movie. That's, no, not really. He's, he's, he's a primary character in Saw 1, but he's not really a very primary character in Saw the Final Chapter. He's more of a secondary or tertiary character. But this is, once again, very nice movie. I'm not going to get into the details. Don't want to spoil it for you. Um, what's another one I want to do next? Oh, how about this one? Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning. Never thought I'd actually find this, especially the unrated cut for so for such a cheap price. Six dollars at a an antique store, I think it was. Yeah, it was an antique store. I actually got this at an antique store. Wasn't too good of an investment. Because once again, you know, it's an antique store. But um, but they had the desks behind the, the they had the discs. You know, they had the little discs. They had them behind the desk, behind the counter, so that they weren't in the box and no one could, you know, take the disc out and scratch it if they're mad at the store, or someone at the store, or what have you. So don't have to worry about that. It was a really nice movie. Human Centipede. <laughs> now, there's really not much I can say about this one. This one had so much disgusting, just brutally, just nasty, you kind of sense to it. Um, it's the unrated director's cut. It was a, I mean, it's... This is not, I mean, this is a horror movie, but it's more It's more geared toward disgusting and disturbing. Because, yes, it is a horror movie. It's basically this German doctor kidnaps these three people and is going to build a centipede out of them. Now, by looking at the back here, you can probably already tell... Hold on, I'll make it go closer there. You can probably already tell where they're connected. I'm not going to say. I don't want to get kicked off of YouTube for saying how they're connected. But uh, it does say on the back, so if you pause it at a certain time, you will be able to see it on the little description here. So, it, yeah, it is just nasty. You will really love to watch it if you're kind of one of those, you know, that you like to see these sick, demented horror movies. Then you'd love this movie. It would be your, just your day. Um, hold on. Wait, I think I'll just do the Chucky here. Mr. Chucky. Alright. I'll also bring this one because this one has the original Child's Play. Chucky the Killer DVD Collection. I got this for 20 bucks at Walmart. You just, how can you beat that? I mean, really. $20 you get four movies, about $5 a movie. And they're really good movies, too. Number t it comes with Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, Child's Play... Well, no, sorry, no. Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky. Um, Child's Play 2 came out in, nine, came out in uh, 1990. Child's Play 3 came out in 91, I think. Yeah, I think it's a, the script on here is so tiny I can't read it. Bride of Chucky came out in 98 and Seed of Chucky came out in 2004. The original Child's Play came out in uh, 88. But uh, it, these are really good movies. Once again, if you love slasher movies, if, if you love killer dolls, then you would really love this. You'd really love these movies. They're really nice. 
They're really well designed. But I watched Saw 2 before I watched Child's Play. I mean, no, sorry, no, Child's Play 2 before I watched Child's Play. And it really does kind of ruin it for you. Well, it doesn't ruin it for you way too much. It just, you'll really, you really want to watch it. I'm not kidding. You will really want to watch this movie. You'll really want to watch this movie. First, and because it's just really nice, it sets up the whole story. And no, he's he wasn't born a doll. I'm not going to get into how he became a doll. You really have to watch the first one, and then you'll know how he became a doll. Okay, so that's that kind of explains the Chucky part in this too. The Amityville Horror. This came out in 2005. There was a, there was one made I think 20 years before it or something. That was it. There, I think they're almost the same happenings. This one right here is the only one I've seen, though. It's a really nice movie. It's once again one of those paranormal thrillers. So if you re if you're really into like paranormal activity and all that stuff, you'll really love this movie. Last house on the left. This one was sick, disturbing, brutal, and unimaginable. It and especially for a 1972 movie, I'm surprised they even released it in theaters. But, well, this one's the uncut version. This is the most complete edition to date. The original, oh boy, every almost everything had to be cut from it because it was so out there. There was no other movie like it in, in its time, and there isn't today another movie just like it. It's just insane. So you will really love it if you enjoy sick, demented stuff like Human Centipede over there. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 it's basically, uh, well, I'm not going to spoil it or anything. It's just, it's a, the c a continuation from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1. So if you like Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1, you'll really want to watch this one. This is made in 86. So this is newer compared to the original one. Okay, so put that over there. Now I'll do another little uh, package here, a little package of videos for horror movie lovers. All right, so... 28 days later and 28 weeks later those are both very those are more the germ warfare no not really germ warfare it's just um it's a disease it's a disease a germ all that stuff so it's more surviving this terrible catastrophe this giant this germ and this disease that's rampaged england and it's killed i think it said 90 no it was 10 percent of the Population? No, some. I think nine tenths of the population is what it said. Something like that were wiped out, in like a little description or something. So, once again, really suggest that. Really suggest these two movies. This one picks up. This one's 28 days later. So this one's. This one basically just came first, and then um, I think it said um, six months after the. And then it's supposed to be six months after this one ended, this one begins, 28 weeks later. So once again, you really want to watch those if you love the bio-infected horror movies. Then there's Mirrors here, which is once again another paranormal movie about a security guard who had uh, killed a policeman. No, he, yeah, I think he killed a policeman by accident. And so now it's kind of showing his life, how he's recovering, and he sees all these things in mirrors at a building he's guarding as a night guard now. And it leads him into an investigation of what those things were and what, what that building was used for previously. It's pretty shocking, so you really want to watch this one, too. Okay, and um, Paranormal Activity. Make sure it's in here. Yeah, it's in here. Paranormal Activity. It's about a couple, about a couple, who, this woman, well, this woman in the bed right here, she's his boyfriend. She's his girlfriend, sorry. Um, apparently this demon's been following her around since she was a kid, and now it's all starting back up again. And uh, they didn't heed a certain warning. I'm not going to tell you what the warning is. You'll need to really watch the movie, because, once again, it's a great movie. You'll really want to watch it, trust me. You're going to watch the first few minutes, and you'll be like, dang, I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad he didn't tell me everything. So, yeah, you really want to watch this movie. It's... The ending is very um, emotional, kind of sad, really sad. So, uh, and here's a little hint. 
Paranormal activity takes place during. Yeah, it takes place um, during the event of paranormal activity too. So, yeah, <laughs> the the date. In paranormal activity too, it's the same family but not the same two people. They're related. I'm not going to tell you how they're related. Well, in the first movie, the woman mentioned uh, mentioned her sister Christy, and that's who the lady is right here. I don't know if you can see her. She's this guy on the couch's husband, and this is their baby. <laughs> so this takes so sorry no. This takes place before, during, and after um, paranormal activity. So, uh, the ending, once again, it's very shocking. You will want to have watched Paranormal Activity 1 to be able to get the ending. You'll be able to fully understand the ending. You'll be able to be like, oh, well, that's a lot like Paranormal Activity 1, you know? Man, okay, I just went through a ton of movies, and those are really good movies. I tell you, if you really do enjoy horror movies, you'll really want to check out certain ones like Saw, um, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Friday the 13th. I don't have Friday the 13th, but I've seen, I've seen Friday the, fr fr uh, sorry, no, Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th 2, and one of the other ones, I forget which one it was. Really great movie. Once again, very large emotional backstory to it. It's not just a blood and guts I'm just gonna kill you movie. It has a backstory to it as to why Jason Voorhees becomes this masked murderer. So, if you love these horror movies, the thing to me that makes a really good horror movie like one of these movies, yeah, you know, like Paranormal Activity, Paranormal Activity 2, and, well, no, not necessarily these two. These are okay, though, I guess. But more like Child's Play and Saw. They all have ideas behind them as to why these guys became killers, or why they became who they became. Chucky, it's a whole other world because he's now a doll. But, um, you know, like the Saw movies I was showing you a few minutes ago. Well, quite a few minutes ago, actually. It's not just a pure blood and guts movie. No, some of them are blood and guts, but their decisions, they have a backstory to them. It's not like I'm just gonna go out and I'm gonna kill whoever I want to. Um, like Jigsaw, I'm not just gonna go. I'm just gonna go out and kidnap a whole bunch of people, put them in these demented games that they can't escape from. No, he wants them to succeed. He wants to see them succeed. But the people that he's been testing apparently have not been very. People he's been testing have not been very strong-willed as to wanting to truly keep their lives, make a sacrifice, like want like a character in Saw 4. He was he was to either trade his eyesight for his he was supposed to trade his eyesight for his life. Basically these little if you press the buttons that he was handed to him, the two little levers would come down with um, blades on them, they'd gouge out his eyeballs, but his life would be spared. Kinda like that. Or you'll or you can one of the a trap in Saw Six you had to cut off the most flesh, so someone would someone ends up losing an arm or what have you. Someone ends up ends up losing a foot, someone ends up losing an eye, someone ends up losing their liver or they have to have artificial or what have you. All that stuff. Um it's not just the blood and guts, I mean he does want them to succeed. They they have to make these sacrifices in order to save their life. So basically he's asking you from this one trap, hold on. There's one trap. Let me think of one. Oh yeah, and Saw 2. Someone's hands got caught in something, and they had to either choose to basically rip their own hands off, or, well, it would cut them, so basically just skin their hands, either that or break their hands or what have you. So they either had to choose what's what's what means more to them, their hands or their life. Because you can get artificial hands. That's not, a, that's not like all out of the world, but you can't get another life. That's kind of what Jigsaw's trying to teach him. That's kind of what, I mean, you know, like Freddy Krueger, that's more of a slasher, a complete slasher movie, but there is an idea behind why he became who he was. There's an idea behind how Leatherface became who he was. So to me, it's more the emotional aspect of these horror movies that really do make the movie. 
Because if you just go out and you, oh, I'm going to stab you, and uh, you know, all that stuff, to me that's not very much of a movie. I mean, if I wanted to watch just pure murder, I could turn on a, mo a murder show. Well, then even then there's a motive. So the only kind of murder without motive would just be going up and shooting somebody for no reason, other than to just kill somebody for that. So, yeah, once again, these movies, not all of them are pure emotion. Most of them aren't. But they do have a small emotional aspect in it, which makes the movie, because there's a backstory to it. It's not just a pure, full-blown murder movie. So, um, everybody on YouTube, thank you for watching. This is the longest video I have ever made, and I'm glad to have made it, because... Um, I have been working for a while to wonder how am I going to do this. I mean, I want to make a long movie, but I don't want to make. I mean, sorry, no, a video. I don't. I want to make a long video, but not way too long. I'm trying to. I'm going to continue to outdo myself every single time it comes back to school. Whenever there's a back to school, I'll make another very long video that outdoes this one. You know. But today, it's also a good thing that I could show off my horror movies because I was tr really wanting to do those but I didn't want to make separate videos or a really long other video so then I decided I mean like so several long videos or what have you so I was thinking well maybe I could just do this on my giant spectacular my 30 30 minute spectacular what have you so once again everyone on YouTube thank you for watching I am glad that I have viewers so hopefully you're all watching this Alright, I, I guess it is until next time, or until we meet again, which we've never really met, hopefully. But I guess until uh, I make another video, bye-bye.